Hello everyone, it's Sandra here and I am back with an old friend. This is Peekaboo and you'll see from the glistening on top of the bedding here that I've actually misted this down. Uh, when I made up this bedding 10 days ago to age, it was sort of 50-50 shredded cardboard and those finely sifted uh, arborist wood chips. When I made it up, there was almost excess water at the base of the bin. And now that was not only all absorbed, but the bedding had been si sitting in peekaboo and was actually getting a little dry. Now... Um, so I've moistened it down and you might say, why did you moisten this bedding down again, Sandra? Well, I've had a change of worm bin status. I had my sister here for a few days and we both agreed that her having one of my stacking tray systems was a better option for her and a better option for me. Uh, so what I've done is I ha I quickly took all the contents from my can of worms, and those are the levels Iggly Wiggly and Fuzzy Wuzzy. So any of my previous videos that mention those particular working trays and the bottom tray Wuzzy, any of those videos, uh, that system is now gone. You know, it just wasn't accessible to me. I I could only really access the top bin. I couldn't uh, rotate the bins. I couldn't get into the lower bins to check on the worms without assistance from Landon. And, you know, it's, it's just, it was just getting difficult uh, just to regularly maintain that system. And for my sister, it's a better system for her. So... You know what systems I can do 100%? It, uh, eat my shorts and peekaboo. So the worms that I'm going to be putting in here today, I have quickly taken from uh, Iggly Wiggly and Fuzzy Wuzzy. And this is peekaboo version 2.0. Uh, going to start it up again. All right. So what do I do when I'm introducing worms into this is unfamiliar bedding to them? Uh, although it has aged for 10 days and I think is very microbial rich with the wood chips in there, what do I do? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a pocket for the worms so that they will be able to rest here undisturbed. I have no doubt that there is microbes in the material, so I'm not putting them into a sterile material. It's more important for me to let them settle. So the second thing I'm going to do is... I pulled out a lot of their bedding and that bedding included the last feeding there. Well, not only the last, but there's a corn cob. There's some avocados going in here, some avocado pits. So all of this material that was pulled out of the stacking tray system is now going to be uh, in this zone where the worms are going to be placed I'm taking not only food that sat in their stacking tray system for a while, uh, you know, like this, uh, like this avocado. Well, I guess you can barely see it, but it's in there. So I'm not only taking food that was in their system for a while. In fact, there is a worm in that avocado, if you can see it. But I am taking familiar uh, surroundings, This all this material, and look at all those cocoons that I also pulled out of the material. Uh, all of this material was taken from their worm bin. And so I have no idea how many worms are in here. I just basically retrieved the last feeding area. This bowl is pretty heavy. Let's just turn it over and see who we got. And again, I will clean out this bowl to make sure it is after we look at what came through. All right, so there's some newspaper or some paper anyway. Some occupants going into peekaboo. They were down at the bottom of the bowl where all the moisture was. The 
These are Peekaboo's new resident worms. So there we go. I've spread them out enough. They're nice and moist. I'm just gonna put some moisture in the bowl and rinse that out. All right, so a little bit of moisture in the bottom of the bowl there. Flush out some more of the occupants. I'll rinse that bowl out once more. All right, a little bit more. There we go. This is the tissue that I use to clean my hands, so I'll just throw that in there. And then I'm just gonna close these worms in. Like I said, there is very old, one of those petrified avocados, half avocados, I think one and a half avocados in that last feeding. So they can tuck into that if they want to. I'm actually going to give Peekaboo a brand new burlap blanket for the top. Worms are gonna love that. All right, so then just some bubble wrap on top. So there we go, Peekaboo is back up and running. I'm going to have to do the same for Eat My Shorts when I trap or otherwise get more worms out of that large stacking systems worth of material. So I'll be doing that in the next few days and Peekaboo will get a familiar next door neighbor when I resurrect Eat My Shorts. All right, everyone. Bye for now.